Hello. We've rolled out the red carpet for Coco the Elf. Thanks, everybody. Anyway, <clears throat> I have a haul from the thrifts at the beach place. I found some pretty good stuff. I showed the stuff I left down there, and this is the stuff I drug back home with me. So we shall begin. It's kind of mixed up, so. Oh, this is from hmm, Anchor Thrift. Anchor Thrift, yeah. This is a Marc Jacobs eyeglass case. It's very nice. Wait, Anchor Thrift? Yeah, yeah. Anchor Thrift, yeah. Okay, and pom-poms, because I need these for my little trees and things that I do. And I got these beads. I've gotten some of my best beads at this place. These were $2.50, but I want to show you the... It's got like an invisible clasp. Where is it now? It's so invisible, I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Look at it. See here? That's the clasp. You just push this down, and it's a little teeny thingy. That's really nice. These are old. I suspect they might be check. They're not glass. They're they're resin or plastic, something acrylic. But I like them. I like that class. So that was from Anchor Thrift. Then I hit. Let's. I'll show this. I'm gonna get this. I got this downtown at the Salvation Army. This is three ninety nine. It's a vintage American made stainless steel. Thermos. Thermoses are trending very, very hot right now. So it's got the old style dealy here. And I think it's all stainless steel on the inside. Come on out, you. Come on. Yes, it's all stainless steel on the inside, and then it's got this top. This is real old school. So I thought that was cool. And it's what is it? You know vac. Uh, ooh, there's water in it. <laughs> okay, never mind. You know vac made in USA. Oh, it got water on there. Okay, then it, I'll show this. We went to the senior center thrift store in Shores, which I usually find nothing, and I scored the best there. I got this cool material. I'm just gonna do. It's really neat on this side. I thought I might do one of my little trees out of this. Or you can do this side and I can make a bow for one of my little critters. And this was all really, and this is some plush that I got to make one of my critters. It's like duckling yellow. And I got that. And I got a piece of this fuzzy stuff here and this is like teddy bear material and oh, a Santa hat you know I can't leave a Santa hat be look at the every item is improved with a Santa hat check it out and then this is some kind of plushy for stuff and so that was just the fit out of dug it out of there. Then they had a bunch of ornaments. I think they're in here, aren't they? Where are they? Got the these are vintage ornaments. What you do with the rest of them? The ladies were a little discombobulated in there, which I sure can't point any fingers. So well, I'm getting a little discombobulated some days myself. But these are plastic. I really like these vintage ones. Oh, this is a Scandinavian Yate. And another one of these. These were 25 cents a piece. Those were fun. And then I got, oh, I really scored on the Jim Shore stuff. This one is, let's see, Shelter Across the Creek. Really, really nice. I think this is part of a billet. This was five dollars. Let me get this out of the way. It's a little covered bridge. Really nice. 
from uh, 2004. Let me get these other ones out. I got five different Jim Shore things, but I really, really like them. Oh, this one's extra pretty. This one was, which was this, 20. But I think it's musical. Is it musical? No, there's no batteries in it. But it's a holy family in a star. I mean, like I said, all the boxes, really nice. I just had them all set. There was one <clears throat> I didn't take, and as, soon, and as soon as I grabbed these, then one of the ladies that worked there grabbed it and put it in the back room. I created a craze. This one is another holy family. What are they called? Blessed Family Holy Family Figurine, 2006. Also, really nice. And this one. Once they go in back in the boxes, the bags, I can't remember what I got. This one is Red Barn. Oh, this one's nice. even have their plastic bags. This one was ten dollars. It's a red barn. Hence that name. Back in there. And this one is Main House. These are really nice. This one was ten dollars as well. This one's big. And beautiful. Mm -hmm. So those were ex an exciting find. We can get that styrofoamy stuff everywhere. But they're all they all look good. They're all nice, clean, with their boxes, which is extra nice. So that's, that's what I get in Shores. Okay, I got cut off. I was, the, I'm not sure where I got cut off, but this is the cool house I got called Main House. This one was $10, and so it's very pretty. And it goes with these other guys, so you could make a really nice little scene with these, however you do them. But, uh, these are really pretty. The detail is really exceptionally nice. So that's what I got at the Senior Thrift, and this is the stuff I got in Shores. So then the next day we went to downtown. And we went to the Salvation Army, where I got the thermos, and I got this awesome Rocky the Flying Squirrel plushie, J. Ward, 2001. I think he was oh, $1.69. Super duper cute. Okay. And I got this pack of, this is that fat yarn that you use for package ties. We used to use this in your hair when I was a kid. But it's a cool Kmart wrap package, so I thought that was kind of neat. It was 99, yeah, 99 cents. Mr. Retro's got a short extension cord for 69 cents. We always need these. I got this is from 1995 Fred Meyer store. They haven't had fabric in a million years, but these are those things you stuff and it's vintage so and it's really cute so that was 
99 cents and it has the original tag on there which I always really like I think that's the year there I think 95 so, that was from Fred Meyer and I got this was from Thrift City so this was 50% off is this? yeah this was 50% off so this was a dollar and a half this is to make this really cute Plastic canvas candy dish. Santa and his elves. It's got all the stuff in there to make it. It's been opened, but I think it's still all there. And that's from, I don't see a, a date, but it looks over. And cocktail napkins. I got these at Salvation Army, 59 cents. I love these. Cocktail napkins are always a good thing. And I got this at Thrift City. $6.99, so it's half price. She's missing her shoe, but it's one of those curly French dolls. And she's good size and she's strong. So that's a nice doll. She just needs her hair cleaned up a little bit. She's kind of been a little roughed up. So that was half price. This I got at Thrift City, half price. So I think this was like a dollar and a half. But it's a uh, latch hook kit, but it looks very, very 60s to me. It has a really neat look, and it's all finished. Nice. Oh, there was this one. That was an awesome find. And this is Dollar Tree stuff mixed in here. I forgot about. These are good. Really good. And they had nails. Look, look, look. These will be beautiful for the holidays. I really like them. Somebody was wearing these. I think it was Mommy and Loves Gigi had these. Oh, more Dollar Tree. They finally got that in. And we got one of these. Dollar Tree down there was really busy. There was no carts. But luckily nobody burned the store down or anything, so... That was good. I think that's it for the tree. That's it. What is? Oh. This is not this is Wally World, just some leggings. Nothing interesting there. Oh, this is from Dream Thrift. This beanie baby outfit will fit my mini monster dolls. That's why I was interested in this. It's a beautiful princess outfit and I thought these would make an excellent garland they look like snowballs and oops darn it I got some of these Brita filters because I'm doing some um, liquor infusing and I want a charcoal filter so I'm going to charcoal filter my liquor with that now this oh this was this was one I pulled out of the box to donate because I could, I just couldn't give him up because he's so cute. <laughs> Santa's so happy he's back home. And, oh, this was from, this was a quarter. I love the, I have some jingle bells I can replace the missing bells with. This was from Thrift City, so this was 25 cents, but it's a vintage uh, item. And I will use this in my display. And this was 50 cents. It just has a little chip here, but it's a it's an old vintage turkey, obviously. And oh this. So, hello. This beautiful Santa QB that needs a bath. This was from Thrift City and I think it was like what? A dollar and a half, something like that. But it's got good looks, just needs a bath. And what did I get? Oh, this I got. Oh, this is what I got at flea market signs. I knew I got something there. I got this really nice tablecloth for five bucks down there. It's vintage in the package. You know, this kind of looks like an old J.C. Penney's or Sears item with this kind of thing inside there, to me. But it's brand new. 
New old star. That's neat. Yeah. Oh, these are really pretty. These were 40 cents a piece. They're Nicole Miller. Crackle finish. Oh, I can't remember what they're called. Aqua cups, but they're like brand new. And I got four of them. So, I thought that was a neat one. And there's four. And one more bag. This was from Rip City. So this was two dollars. It's a needlepoint kit for a stocking. Uh, Santa Claus. You see, it's got all. It's a printed one. I like the printed ones. So that was only two dollars. And, oh, and I got this. What was this? This was a dollar and a half. I mean, come on. These are wooden bead garland that I thought was so pretty and nice for a dollar and a half. I mean, wow. So I got that. Sorry. False alarm. So. Alright. Now, that's my thrift haul. Hey. Sorry. I finished another. Just stop it. Okay. Had to stop that barking situation. That was my thrift haul from down at the beach, and I finished my small version of my monster, Yeti, in white. He just needs a some sort of a bow or a hat for him. And I did a tree, a green tree, in the smaller size. So, and that's the back of it. And he, he's, these go in my little snow scene with my miling dolls. I think this is going to go on the side of the house. So any old who's, that's what I've got here today. Hope you're getting ready for a fun weekend. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.